Hey guys, this is Kelly from Coach K Wiley. And I just wanted to talk to you for a couple minutes about Empty Nest. If you're a new empty nester, it's been about six months since your last one went to college. Are you starting to panic yet? Are you starting to look at that person you live with and wonder who the heck is this? You tend to lose contact with each other when you're raising your kids. You're, all your time is focused on who needs to be where, when, who has everything they need. Do they have their soccer cleats? Do they have their snacks? Did they take their lunch? Is their homework turned in? How are their grades? Are they staying out of trouble? This is a lot of stress on a couple. You spend all your time on those kids and then the kids are gone. And now you have all this free time and you're looking at each other wondering, what the heck? What do we do now? How do you reconnect with each other? Did you know that divorce is really high in people in their mid fifties and sixties? They even have a name for it. They call it the gray divorce. It's because you spend so much time focused on your family, focused on raising those kids, creating a career and a, and a nice home for everybody. And when those kids are gone, now you don't know what to do. You don't know how to connect with your spouse. This is important. Pay attention. It's time to reconnect. It's time for you to look at each other and remember why you got married. Go back to those days when you first started dating. Remember that feeling when you saw him walk in the room or she crossed the room to come talk to you. You remember that feeling? It's distant, but it's there. You can get that back. All it takes is a little work. It takes some time. You need to spend the time together. Sit down, set some goals for your marriage, just like you would in your financial life. Set goals for your future, five, 10, 15 years from now. Where would you like to be? I know for me and my husband, we'd like to be traveling. We really enjoy traveling. We enjoy seeing things together. We enjoy doing the experiences together. So we are setting goals to be able to do that. Now those are financial goals, but they're also goals around spending time together, doing things together, building memories together, because together we are better. So I'm going to be doing a little blog series here for the next couple of days on being an empty nester, on how to reconnect with your spouse, how to find some passion back in your marriage. So stay tuned, let's have a little fun, and you might even learn something along the way. Thanks for listening.